So hey guys, I thought I would do a little vlog today because I've got lots of things I want to catch you up on. I've got to do some packing and yeah, I just want to show you some bits and bobs I've bought too. So stay tuned if you just kind of want a bit of a, a life update and a hangout. <laughs> So hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is just going to be um, a medley, a Becky medley where, um, yeah, I'm just, there's just little bits I want to update you on and chat about and yeah, that's, that's the jazz really. Um, I'm a little bit tired today. I haven't been having the worst night's sleep for like the last week i don't know what's going on but i'm just really tired um so if i just feel a little bit like lower energy than normal that is why just not been sleeping so good my hair i've just had it done for the first time in six months but i'm tossing and turning like crazy and it's <laughs> it's getting because it's now been like straightened it's actually getting more knotty <laughs> God. so i don't know what's going on uh, but anyway uh yeah hope you enjoy the vlog <laughs> so i've been trying to find a decent camera angle to film uh this section of the video so this video is really kindly sponsored by level eight who make the best suitcases i'm really really excited to be working with them again i don't know if you can see my yellow suitcase there but that's from level eight and i have used that one at countless times as you guys know um i'm in a long distance relationship so i'm always traveling back and forth and i think it's probably been checked in over 20 times and nothing is wrong with the case i've had some really high-end branded cases and they have been beat up by um by airports so i adore these level eight suitcases Dana, they are quite lightweight, as you can see. I can lift up the whole case super easily. Uh, this is the one that I have already, but in this fantastic new colorway. It's this really pretty like sage green and charcoal. There are so many reasons why I love this case. So I will get into that in a minute. They also sent me, guys, I have always wanted a aluminium case. I feel like a celebrity when I use this case. Now, aluminium cases are expensive. Um, however, this one is like a lot more affordable compared to when you start looking at some of the other high-end brands. They're getting into like hundreds, thousands of pounds. So while this one, like it isn't cheap, it is fantastic quality. And I'm just so excited to have this case as um as a carry-on um so let me show you a little bit more in depth into these cases so here is my gorgeous new suitcase i love this color so much but i really want to show you some of the features that i have personally found to be really really useful so the first one are the pure um, like how many handles this luggage has it can sometimes be really hard especially if you're not the strongest person to be able to lift something into cars um off the, the conveyor belt having this many handles makes it really really easy to travel i also love this extra wide um handle especially if you've got very heavy luggage like sometimes i do it makes um just dragging it along just it feels almost lightweight it is um fantastic and then um it's also got those four wheels as well so you, it just feels like you're gliding along it's yeah it's just such an easy case to use it also obviously has a lock as well to keep all your belongings nice and safe so here is the inside of the case this one is a slightly different to my one where these pockets are on this side and this pocket is on that side but it really makes no difference which variation you get so i like to put all of my clothes in the thinner side i tend to find that this side does give me enough space for a week's worth of clothes it's a really great amount of space this is the the shallower side 
but yeah it fits a great amount and i just love being able to like zip up the compartment and keep things separate then on this side we have two pockets in the front now these are fantastic um i normally put my nicky knackies <laughs> over in that pocket there i do think it's always great for your socks your, your smalls as they say but this pocket is excellent this is a pocket that is essentially waterproof so say on your last day on your holiday you want to go in the pool but you know your swimwear will be wet traveling home you can put it straight in here and it's not going to get everything else wet if you have got uh, shampoo that's notorious for opening and getting all over your clothes you can put it in here if you're worried and if it does explode uh, it's not gone over all of your clothes again so this is a fantastic um extra and then we open it up here and here is the inside so you've also got some extra security here that's just going to keep things nice and secure but yeah i really love all the features within the suitcase because it just makes everything um just a bit more com compartmentalized but this suitcase guys i'm so excited to take it because my orange one uh, or yellow one it's it's really been fantastic so far but this lovely sage and charcoal color combination it's a bit of me now here we have this gorgeous um metal suitcase as you can hear asmr um this is perfect if you travel with anything of of major value if you like to travel with design handbags or high-end jewelry this is a very incredible way to keep those items very secure and protected uh, because it has two locks two locks and it's also metal you know so no one's going to be cutting into here slicing into here you can't get in so if you are planning on traveling with with something you really 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 don't want to you know get, get taken uh this is the way forward it's so hardy um it's such amazing quality and let me show you the inside so the inside is very different from any other travel case i've had before you kind of have these panels that clip onto the side and they're kind of like little flaps so you can also um take them out you've got lots of good storage space here and then again you could put your smalls or you know electronic cables and stuff like that in there and then this side it's, it's so i just love luggage guys it's so fun um you've got this is i think it's some packing cube like a packing cube type thing and that's going to keep obviously anything anything safe and it's definitely got a bit of padding in there as well so yeah this is obviously it's quite a high-end suitcase but guys i'm gonna feel so fancy rolling this through the airport it's gorgeous uh, so obviously you, you you're gonna be you're gonna know if you're in the market for this kind of thing but however if you're just the occasional traveler likes to go on holidays and stuff i will say the large suitcase is absolutely fantastic and i would say it is worth the investment the cost per wear i've had on my big one i've had no dents dings or damages um it's lasted longer than any of the other suitcases i've ever owned so this one is absolutely fantastic and yeah i definitely think worth the investment they also sent me this really cool backpack which i think i'm going to give to my boyfriend um he travels to work every day with his laptop so i think this would be perfect on the back of a moped this is super secure and cushy it has so much padding in there to protect protect any of your electronics from your ipads to your laptops anything you want to keep safe but the amount of pockets in here is crazy you have a pocket here you have a pocket here this is also where you can put your um your laptop there's also another pocket here where you have more pockets pockets inside of pockets this is so perfect for if you have a guy in your life you need to get a birthday present a christmas present for this is perfect because they can literally take everything they want little packets of tissues my boyfriend's obsessed with pocket tissues uh you know mints pens all of you know the bits guys like to carry around they don't want a handbag but they want to carry lots of bits with them this is perfect you've also got a little um pocket here there's so many 
hidden pockets, a little space here as well for an umbrella or a water bottle. This is a fantastic um, backpack. And I think, uh, yeah, definitely gonna give this to JP because I think he will make the most out of this. So a huge thank you to Level 8 for sponsoring this portion of the video. I will link everything down below in the description box if you fancy taking a look. And yeah, happy traveling. <laughs> so I feel like this video is gonna be like always like lots of little mini hauls. Um, I've been buying from a couple of places, but I just not needing like to do a whole video on what I've bought. But I've just placed an order at Snag. Um, I always get a lot of questions and comments about Snag. I'll probably do a bit more of an in-depth video in the future, but Snag, um, they're not cheap. <laughs> uh, and so I tend to well just order exactly what i want rather than like testing lots of stuff out because like as i said some of their stuff can be quite expensive especially when you are adding more and more to the car um so i've just ordered some of my kind of like regular pieces um and hopefully that just gives you an idea of what they do i will say though i do have a little bit of a complaint i ordered two of the sheer um vanilla marshmallow tights and the first time i wore the other pair they got a ladder in straight away now i've had snag tights some of the tights i've had for years and they've never laddered so i don't know what's going on there um, i'm really hoping that this pair that doesn't happen the one thing i love about snag is they do nude tights that are really fair they do like a whole range of nude tones so i think they do a more caramelly tan one um like deeper brown tones as well but they also do uh, vanilla marshmallow which is quite fair um, i really like these tights whenever i wear them people always like compliment my legs thinking it's my real legs um i got this in um my size is an f in snag tights um they're super super comfortable like four-way stretch type of thing um i know they don't look very big but obviously when they're stretched out uh they're, they're the perfect size um super super comfortable the size guide that i always find is pretty accurate um so very excited to have some new new tights because i like to wear new tights um especially if i'm wearing dresses that are too short for, sh for um chub rub shorts so i also got two of the stale cool um chub rub shorts in builders tea and i think this is slightly darker than um marshmallow potentially maybe they're around the same i think this is definitely lighter when it's stretched out compared to builder's tea i think builder's tea is a little bit more of your, your traditional tan color but these are whenever anyone talks about chub rub shorts this is what they're on about they just call them i guess stay cool um because apparently they will keep you one degree cooler in this material which is wild um, but they're basically just little tight shorts i much prefer these than wearing like cycle shorts because i find cycle shorts um they are quite thick um and they also pretty much only come in black sorry if you're getting some sunlight but i also think it looks quite cinematic um so i like i just like these because they are a little bit more moisture wicking they're a bit more lightweight they have that cool stay cool technology again i get these in an f i have picked up two pairs because in the summer I like to wear quite bright and light colours in the summer. So the nude ones, I do tend to go through quite a lot. And I have an awful lot of black still in rotation. Like I've had, excuse me, I've had um, a couple of um, chub rub shorts that I've just been using for literally years. These really last because obviously they're not covering your whole leg. So I feel like the danger zone like of your calf is not a really an issue with these. The only thing I found in the long run is sometimes this seam goes, but that's after me literally using them for years, <laughs> for literal years. And then finally, this is something new to me. These are the shorties. So I have said um, a couple of times, like sometimes chub rub, 
shorts are coming down to they are quite long in the leg and then someone um told me that they actually got a shorter version of the chub rub shorts so we're going to compare i'm not doing a try on this time guys but i might do one in the future um so these are the shorties now they are a, a lot shorter um let me are they a lot shorter yeah maybe like an, an inch or two so i'm interested to try them out i feel like that inch or two would be perfect but i would love for them to do these in nude as well because i just feel like black and nude are the colors that i always go for and i do prefer the nude because i wear as i said a lot of light dresses but hopefully if uh, those shorties do well then they will come out with more colors now snag are coming out with a lot more um clothing lingerie um it's almost overwhelming the amount of stuff that they're coming out with they have recently come out with knickers like lot, lot so many knickers but i will say that they're really expensive um i understand that they're using really high quality materials and paying good wages and stuff but I really was just curious. Um, so I got, these are like the full, they're full brief, but they're really, really high up. I haven't tried these on yet. I got the shade Figgy Pudding, which is this like purple color. The sizings are completely different on their knickers compared to their tights. So um, look at the size chart before you order, because I thought it was the same sizing as the tights. It is not, I ordered a G, um, in the knickers but they've got way more sizing in the knickers than they do the tights if that makes sense um i will say though they do feel quite like tight knickers if that makes sense more kind of like maybe a bit spanx like rather than just like comfortable cotton knickers um so yeah i'm kind of surprised buy these knickers but they've got a big gusset i know a lot of people like to talk about the gussets being small on things like it's got quite a good size gusset it's very full coverage in the back as well like it goes really high up so i think for some people they'll they'll really like these knickers for me i feel like they're almost too full of brief like i don't mind full briefs from like m s and asda but these are these are definitely bigger so just bear that in mind um but yeah overall the the tights you literally can't go wrong with i have been wearing them for years but that was a bit of an anonymous an, 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 anomaly um that those ones did snag i mean the, the irony of their name is snag um yeah which is just a bit disappointing because oh, they're really expensive but hey ho um but yeah, I do really recommend them. They're the best place you're ever going to find uh, plus size tights from. And the, the amount of colours, they also do limited edition designs throughout the season. So I will link them down below. This is not sponsored. It's not affiliate link. It is just a wholehearted recommendation for a company that I've been using for years. So yeah, really do recommend them. Um, they honestly like changed how I dress. I never used to wear dresses um, or skirts. I would always wear leggings and jeans um and then having snag has meant you know wearing chub rubber shorts under all these beautiful dresses uh, and feeling really comfortable not having any chafing or anything like that um it's yeah it's just honestly completely changed my fashion world and if if that has been an issue that the reason why you've not been wearing dresses or skirts then please 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 just order one pair order one pair and just see how you get on because honestly it completely changed my fashion game so yeah big love to snag <laughs> so a couple of things i've ordered recently i got this really cute top from um anthropology it is like this is all embroidered and it's so cute it's a very light peach tea this sold out so i had to pre-order it 
and then oh my god look at the mess guys guys it's surreal it's a real house it's a real mess um i had to pre-order this I and mean, then when i went to link it, it was sold out so i guess this is just to show you what kind of stuff you can get on anthropology um but yeah the stuff the plus size stuff sells so so fast on there but i'm gonna just try this on quickly for you now just so you can kind of see how it fits so here it is on and it's a really nice quite like boxy fit i will just say i've just got like a sports calvin klein bralette thing on and obviously i wouldn't wear this with leggings i'm just trying it on for you guys it's definitely like it's not super long in the body which i know some of you guys won't like but i do think it sits really nicely it's cotton it's beautiful quality it was expensive for, for what it was but if you know me you know how much i love aperol spritz and sometimes you just gotta buy things that make you happy i just think this is such a unique design and print especially for like plus like i just love like yeah i just really love it i love the colors and the vibe so this isn't a free x though so i would say like I think if we get it's like a 26 28 i feel like that's fitting me fine um i would have loved a neck size up though so i could have worn it a bit looser but yeah i'm really pleased with it um i'll see if i can find the link for it but yeah it's been a bit tricky and then this is the piece de resistance this is from guys abercrombie and fitch i never thought i never thought i'd be wearing something from abercrombie and fitch um i saw this on um alex aka learning to be fearless i still think of her as that name even though that's not her name anymore i saw her try this on and the print guys it's so beautiful it's so beautiful we got some strawberries now i did check online um basically the print like some of it's the right way around and some of it's upside down but that is normal like that is how it's been designed so yeah there's upside down strawberries on the print but i just love it um and it's also like a lot of you guys said this dress was quite short but it's the same length as this one and i find the length fine but i'm also like very okay with getting my legs out in the summer so um yeah and if i drop anything um someone else can pick it up for me <laughs> but let me let me try this one on for you now so here is the dress i love it so much it fits beautifully it is just like a smocked back um this is in the 2xl tall because i did just want like a little bit more length in it it is a mini dress um so <laughs> just having that tall option is lovely it has got pockets and it also does have an underskirt too but obviously you're still probably going to want to wear your nude nickies and um i'm not wearing a bra with this and i think i think i get away with it um this was 58 pounds but i did get 10 pound off when signing up to their emails um so obviously if you liked this kind of style of um never fully dressed but you're just like hell no to the price which i i fully understand guys an anthropology um could definitely have some options for you that are a little bit cheaper obviously they're not um maybe as cheap as places like yours and stuff but this is like a beautiful like thick cotton you have this like pleating detail it's made really 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 well and yeah it's like a little little dainty summer princess so here's a little snapshot of what i'm planning to pack the day is just getting away with me so i don't think i'm going to be able to like fully show you a full pack but i just wanted to give you highlights we're just going for uh five days and i don't need too too much anyway i'm gonna pack some jeans probably my old h&m ones um the sizing's changed guys on the jeans so i don't know where to recommend you mum jeans from um yours is always pretty good with sizing though so um i i might try some yours jeans soon let me know if that's something you would like as for tops now this looks a bit pants on the hanger but it's this gorgeous not um like quite thin ribbed jumper from mango um it's not going to be like the best weather when we're going it's going to be actually quite rainy um but i love this jumper and i really wanted to wear it at least one more time before i put it under the bed <laughs> when i switch out my wardrobe i've been really into cardigans um i got this one again 
a few years ago from cider and as it was the easter weekend i just thought this would just be just fun to pair with jeans and a little vest top so i'm going to pack a couple of different vest tops because i've also got this oh this adorable cardigan from primark um this is very eastery and um, just again with some jeans the weather's looking really rubbish so just for <laughs> couple of little cardigans jeans a little colorful vest top that matches underneath would be really cute and just a way to kind of add something a bit different in the wardrobe then i've got my new yours dress i just think it's really really pretty i might pack my it's like a pastel floral dress i think i'll pack that one too then the dress i got so many comments whenever ever i wear this dress i always get so many comments this unfortunately is from city chic which we can no longer get in the uk um i'll have a look on the yours website but i don't think it will be there but this is such a beautiful dress um it is mum's birthday while we're out there so i thought i'd pack a nice dress as we're going to my favorite restaurant for dinner um and then i have a hopeful dress um, which is for when hopefully the weather might be a bit nicer otherwise I'll probably just chuck on a cardigan over the top and maybe even leggings if it's that cold this is from Ava and Viv uh, from Target in America this is just like a nice easy dress to wear and I do think like the gingham the check is quite sp springy um, it's a very comfortable dress as well what a day um, I I hope that was a good video. <laughs> you in your head when you're like, you've got an idea and you're like, oh yeah, it's gonna make such a great vlog. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Oh, <laughs> normally it's fine. Normally when it all comes together, it's all good. But yeah, um, just thought I would finish off just with like a little chat. Um, the start of the year has been, been quite crazy it's been so busy like work wise um <laughs> it doesn't seem to be getting any less busy uh, but it's obviously it's really good to be busy um and yeah i'm just a bit tired <laughs> just got this in the mail I treated myself to this this is cool it's the new creamy palette from huda i got it with um 20 percent off from um boots and they had um i bought hannah her birthday presents uh because i've been keeping an eye on when she says she likes stuff i've taken a mental note and they had a great deal on what she wanted so you know <laughs> got got that as well as this and then if you spent um 60 pounds you got 10 pound in points so there we go um and these are all creams apart from this shade is like a setting powder very cool and i have been really getting into like really simple eyeshadow look sometimes in the morning like when i don't want to be spending too long doing a look um yeah really simple because i've got her matte palettes that have got i think the same creamy matte formula and i really like that um, and i've been using that quite a bit so this just kind of seems to make a bit of sense but i will say the one thing i was a little bit surprised about is like the shimmery shades aren't as creamy as i thought they were going to be the mattes are definitely like the creamy part of the thing also channel update kind of um <laughs> this is um something that's quite exciting um I'm hoping to just start making like slightly better content um, and not just film on my phone all the time. She says filming on her phone front camera. Um, I do like to film on my phone just for like ease because it's always there and I can just whip it out. And it's really easy to transfer footage over. Um, but I get that sometimes it's not the greatest quality of all time. I get it. Um, so I have purchased a DJI Osmo if you are um, a vlogger yourself or you like to take home movies like you don't need to want to you know put videos online to enjoy making 
uh, like home movies. Like I feel like if you maybe yeah, have a family, you want to make home mo- home movies and stuff like this, uh, this could be a really nice piece of kit. Um, it is so small. This is the camera, guys. It's this big um, and you can take horizontal footage. So also if you're getting into TikTok or Instagram reels, um, but you can also just flip the screen around and that's how you take your um also ver- vertical sort of like vertical videos and you can do your, your horizontal videos and it's such a a fantastic piece of kit um i love how small it is because like for the most part when you're vlogging you do feel a little bit like self-conscious so it's smaller than my phone um and i just thought for like travel and stuff great um i did buy like the i think it was called like the influencer or the content creator pack uh so it came with this little tripod which is cool and it all came in this bag which literally fits everything like perfectly um so it came with that i think an extra battery and then also which i'm really excited about a microphone that's cool so i can like hello well obviously it's not here now but i can be like a tv presenter and it also came with a little um fluffy what do they call this a fluffy puff <laughs> what they call this but you put it on top of oh look oh so <laughs> it's so soft and so cute so yeah, that's um, that's a a bit of a, a ch- it's not really a channel update, but I'm just hoping to, uh, especially when I, I'm traveling and stuff, getting some really nice um, shots and stuff, just a little bit better than usual. Probably won't be filming hauls on this because I can't get the height unless I get a specific tripod for this. I don't know. I can look into it, but yeah that's the end of today's vlog <laughs> just wanted to do something maybe just a bit more chatty and just like a bit of a roundup of lots of kind of little things i've been buying here and there but it's not enough for like a full video um also big thanks to Levely for sponsoring this portion of the video i am obviously going to monaco with mum and dad um so we'll probably do a little video there and I can probably show you a bit more of what I actually packed. So do stay tuned for that video. Link will be down below as well if you do fancy checking out Level 8 and everything uh, they have to offer there. Um, if you enjoy vlogs, plus size fashion, beauty, lifestyle, all that jazz, then also don't forget to subscribe. I'm here every Tuesday and Thursday. So there's always something new to watch. And um, yeah, I'll see you all very soon. Bye!